Hello ladies and gents, it's Hashit Nehami back with another video and in this one I'm going to share some quick and easy CV templates for you to modify. I have put this file on the Figma community. If you want to copy this file, I'm going to show how exactly how you can do that. Now I have divided this specific file in two different pages. One is for auto layout templates and the other one is for new Figma users. So if you are new to Figma, you might want to go on this page and edit these CVs because these are not made on auto layout. You can change the text and what, however you want, but the content won't adjust itself. So you would have to select the content and arrange it yourself. But if you want to use the auto layout templates, the best thing about these templates is if you edit these text right here, the content beneath that would adjust themselves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through each specific object on how you can edit them and how you can modify the CV for your own need. So let's just start with the image first. So let's suppose that's your good looking picture that you want to place instead of Lord Shrek. So what you want to do is you're going to have to put your image first in Figma of course and then copy it, select the mask and the image of Shrek is placed right over here. So you have to select this, press Ctrl V what it will do is it will paste the image here. You might want to get rid of the Shrek image and now I can resize my own image and fit it like this. Word of advice, please use a professional looking picture in your CV. Don't go with that. It's just an example. But yeah, looks pretty sick. Okay, so moving on to text fields. If you want to edit any of the text here, you would have to press Control key or Command key on window. Uh, sorry command key on Mac, keep pressing it and select the text layer that you want to edit. Now this text right here is selected. Now double click, which will select all the text here. And now if you want to edit it, you can just do it like this. If you want to edit this information right here, you would have to do the same, select the layer and edit the text here. Now you can see that the content beneath that is adjusting itself. So you won't have to worry about all the padding, all the spacing and everything. Of the sort. If you want to change any of these images, you would have to grab one of these images and for doing that, you would have to select that specific icon frame. So how I am going to do that, I'm going to double click it, double click and you will reach that specific frame. So if you want to add the GitHub icon, for instance, you would have to select this, go over here and change it to, where is it? Yeah, it is GitHub and then, you know, type the link of the github right over here and same goes for all the other information here if you want to get rid of any specific section you would have to select that specific section and press delete now suppose i don't want this section so what i would do is i would first select the mainframe double click double click double click you know keep double clicking till you reach that specific frame that you want to delete now i want to get rid of this so i would just press delete and yep easy peasy. If there is any space remaining beneath the CV, then you would have to select the template from here, select the whole frame, go at the bottom. Now again, press the control key or command key on Mac, keep pressing it and change the height of your whole frame. That way you can get rid of all the white space at the bottom of your CV because it's not going to look good. And the same way you can increase the height of your CV as well. Once you are done with the changes, you would have to select the template from right over here, go at the bottom and right here you can export it as a PDF. All you have to do is select the PDF option from this drop down and press export. There you go, test CV and it should work. Yep, your CV is all ready. Quite smooth, huh? No. Yeah. Now how you are going to get this template, so I'm going to put the link in the description below for the file that I have published on Figma community. So you would have to click on that link which will take you to this specific screen. You can get a copy of it by pressing this button and also if you like my efforts, you would want to press this cute little heart button as well. And also subscribe my channel and like the video and all that you know. So if you want to get a copy, you would have to be logged in into the Figma account. So if you don't have a Figma account already, then you might want to press the sign up button. 
make your Figma account, which is free of cost. And then you can press this get a copy button and you would be able to use any of these good looking CV templates. So yeah, please let me know if this video is helpful or if you have any feedback on how I can improve things over here. I would also include a live link of this file so you can also have the access to, you know, direct access to this file. If you are a Figma user, you would know this. So if I add more templates in this file in future, you would have access to those as well. So yeah, that's all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and like the video and share with your friends who are in dire need of CVs. So yeah, that's all. See you later.